Hi, my friend. In this video, you will get to learn how to crochet this super cute amigurumi strawberry. If you prefer to follow a written step-by-step -step pattern, you'll find the link to the free blog post down below. To make this cute little strawberry, you need cotton yarn or some other yarn that you prefer to use, a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle and the pattern, which you will find in the link down below. You also need a tiny amount of stuffing. Okay, so let's start and scroll down where the pattern begins. This is a free pattern over on my blog. So if you prefer to follow a, sorry, too far, a written pattern, uh, you can go over there. I will link the pattern down below in the description. So let's keep it here so that I can follow along. Then you need your yarn and your crochet hook and try and find the middle of your skein. This is something you probably should have done before you started uh, with your tutorial. Let's see. So let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> and six. Okay, on the second row we are going to increase three times. That means we are going to make one single crochet, increase and repeat that three times until we have nine stitches at the end. So one and an increase. And last time, like this, let's take out the yarn and Okay, so on the third row, we are going to increase again three times. We are starting off by making two single crochets, one increase and repeat that three times. Two and a increase. and two times more. And now you should have 12 stitches and on the fourth row we are going to crochet three single crochets, one increase and repeat that three times until we have 15 stitches. So one two and three and a increase and repeat this two more times. And on the fourth row, we are going to crochet four single crochets, one increase and repeat that three times until we have 18 single crochets or stitches.
Okay, let's just double, sorry, <laughs> double check the stitches. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so on the Next row, row six, we are going to make five single crochets and a increase and repeat that three times until we have 21 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five and a increase and repeat this two more times and we have arrived at our last increased row and on row number seven we are going to crochet six single crochets and one increase and repeat this three times until we have 24 stitches so one two three four five six and a increase and repeat this two more times okay now we have 24 stitches and it's time for two rows with one single crochet in each stitch <clears throat> so 24 stitches for two rows Okay, so that was two rows with one single crochet in each stitch, no increases. And now it's time for a decrease row. So row number 10, we are going to crochet two single crochet and one decrease and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one, <clears throat> two, and a decrease. And repeat this five more times. And on the next row, row number 11, we are going to crochet one single crochet and one decrease and repeat that six times until we have 12 stitches.
And now before the hole gets too small, we need to stuff our strawberry. So let's get some stuffing. Okay, we have one row left, row number 12. Here we are going to crochet six decreases so that we get a even tinier hole. <laughs> so one decrease and five more to go. Okay, let's cut off the yarn and wave in the ends. Okay, the first part is almost ready. We are going to embroider some seeds on it, but before we do that, let's make the green leafy part of the strawberry. So let's take out the green yarn. Let's start off with a magic circle with six single crochets. So one, two chains and six single crochets in the second chain from the hook or if you prefer any other magic circle methods then just go with that so one two three four five and six let's double check two four six yes okay uh chain four One, two, three, four. 
starting in the second chain from the hook. I'm reading from the pattern right now. Uh, crochet three single crochets along the chain. So one single crochet in each chain, but skip the first one. So one, two, three, and slip stitch in the next stitch. And repeat this five more times until we have six leafy things. Okay, now we are done. Let's cut off the yarn, but save some so we can attach it to the main part of the strawberry. And let's pull the, or close the magic circle a bit and wave in the first yarn end. Let's do that first. So, I like to put it in front because I think it's easier to see where where you can put the needle through. Like this. Cut off the yarn. with an invincible invisible <laughs> could be invisible at, as well uh, stitch like this and now let's assemble our strawberry so take your main piece put your leafy things on top and now it can be a good idea to, 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 to use some pins just to secure it into place so it doesn't move while you sew like this and then you just attach it So a little bit of the green and a little bit of the strawberry all the way around until it's nice and secure.
Okay, so now it's attached and we just need to uh, to do to do to do wave in the yarn end and attach it. So let's make a knot and stick it through. like this and let's 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 take our light pink yarn and a quite a bit so that you have enough to embroider some seeds on your strawberry that is the last thing and then we are done um, I'm going to start at the top of the strawberry, but this is just up to your own preference. Leave a little bit so that we can um, fix that one later. And yeah, just sow some sedum. There is no rule, but uh, one to two stitches apart. Let's pull out some dog here. Okay, and the next row. And I try to make one, so on the next row I'll make one stitch in between the two previous ones on the previous row. So that it starts to look like this. Well, told you to take <laughs> a lot of yarn. I obviously didn't. So let's poke it back to where the other yarn ends and then I just tie a knot and pull them through. So like this. Tie a knot or even two. And then stitch them through. Well, this was ridiculously hard. Why doesn't this work? Come on. Okay, maybe take, maybe go this way instead. Come on. Yes. And let's take a new thread and continue to the end. Hopefully I don't need any more yarn than this. So where did we end? Somewhere here.
been more yarn. I thought it would be enough. Um, okay, so let's put this one there. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. Mm. Yeah, I need to poke that one here so then it won't be anything there. Okay. <laughs> This is me thinking out loud. So like this and then here. I also realized that here I have have them too tight, but we will just go with it either way. And we're done! So this is how it looks like. A tiny cute strawberry. Perfect maybe to have as a keychain or as earrings or... Yeah, tell me in the comments what you are going to do with your strawberry. Are you going to just have it as play food for your kids or are you going to have it as a keychain or whatever you are going to do with it i'd love to know i also love to know what you want me to make a tutorial on next so let me know that as well down in the comments thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye